This is TomorrowPictures.tv. I didn't breathe. George Floyd. Uh, I'm going to in Washington, D.C. We're going to do something that uh, people have to see before. In the brief span of 30 odd years, the world has seen an inventor's dream. This is no simple reform. Freedom and human dignity. It really is a revolution. You could ask yourself a question. Teach you how to kill. Do I feel lucky? We're like the stupid people. Far more powerful than anything man has yet devised. Inspiration and hope. Life is visceral. Tearing down that wall. Buy a for a man. Because we had stupid politicians doing stupid things. Let's get this straight. The United States. Enough about his life. and boldly. Stupid. They, they, all these, all the students here. They've been kind of hiding that under. We've all been friends. We've all been fine. Um, down the hall from my dorm, there's a man with a Confederate flag on his wall. I'm not okay with that. I've been in there a couple of times, not for him because he has a roommate who, who I'm also a fellow musician with, and we would practice. I would give him lessons, whatever. And then I see him over there with Trump. I'm like, oh, you're also with your roommate. I would find people who um, I, I write music with. I found her over there. I, I, I found another man that I'm going to be performing with next year. You know, out there on the football field, we're gonna be performing together. And then it's like, so, and and, he, and ironically, he's a black man, so he's gonna be out there, you know, what, what, out there with, with the same idea that it's okay to treat us the way we are. They're worried about losing jobs. They're worried about irrational Islamophobia, them bombing us when they get when the Middle East gets bombed on a regular basis. We don't. The 9/11 wasn't even the first airstrike. That was in 1921, sorry. That was in 1921 against black communities where the Coast Guard bombed people in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That was the first air strike. So, no disrespect to 9-11. My mother was there. My grandmother was a police officer. My dad was there as a construction worker. So they were all there. But then you have to remember, we don't get the same kind of attention or respect. They don't respect us as they should. And if they are, they're not showing a good way of doing it. We respect them. They're not respecting us. We support everyone. They seem to hate a lot of people. We're not about that. They're worried about economic issues. I'm also worried about economic issues. But my biggest concern is survival. Period. I want to be able to survive in this country without the chance of being hung like a man was in 2014. I was the exact demographic of being shot in 2015. I was. And Fox is the best news to try to twist that. If they go on Facebook and find a picture of me putting up a middle finger like Trayvon Martin, it's automatically my fault. Just like that. And that kind of idea is in Pennsylvania. It's at Westchester University. The only reason this outburst hasn't happened is because Trump wasn't here. Now, I do appreciate Trump doing this because he has gotten people out of their shell of lying to everybody else, being in their shell about, oh yeah, we're fine with you. But then it's like, hey, it's, it's socially acceptable for me to degrade everybody else, which is who I truly am, so that's what I'm gonna do. So now we know what America is. I've always known. Well, I didn't know when I was growing up because I grew up in mostly white communities and I didn't realize the color of my skin was an issue until I was at, it was actually pointed out to me. I was a human being when I was a child. We were human beings when we were children. We had to be taught that we didn't mean anything to people like this, people that we live with. I go to school with some of these people. I go to class with some of these people. I've laughed and I've joked and I've hung around with some of these people. I've hugged some of these people and I will still do that. But they need to know that no matter what you're doing to support Trump, that it's going to hurt me, then it's going to hurt you. Uh, tonight, we'd like to say a uh, special thanks. We don't have much time to thank everybody, and especially to our friends in the business and to our wonderful friends here and all of you out there for your great loyalty. Justice will be served. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America.